Hey, what's up, guys? So, uh, the node that we're going to be recording from, the one on my house, is like a mile or so. I'll put a uh, closer distance down below. Somewhere in that general direction. And we are going to be rucking in this general direction. And at the end of it, I'm going to give you a, uh, t like, the farthest point that we uh, accurately mapped. So I'll give you a, um, a distance on that. Let me show you what we got going on here. We've got mine. And you can see here, sorry, I uh, used some testers clear parts and I forgot I shook it up before I used it and I put it on too heavy so I got bubbles in there the point of this is for you know making it at least so you can walk around with it in the rain and here is what one of the finished ones looks like and we're gonna be testing this antenna today we're gonna be putting it up against but not really, what we're actually going to be doing is, uh, I've got my settings on this one, my GPS settings on this one. We're going to be comparing them to the factory GPS settings on this one. So uh, we'll get to that in just a little bit. As kind of a side quest, I figured I'd show you this while we're at it. It's just a, another one of those whiz blocks. And I've had it sitting on my back porch, just on the railing, uh, checking for, you know, how weatherproof it is. This is just a, a um, little, you know, Tupperware container I got from Dollar General. And it's it's been outside for over a month. And we've had some hellacious storms lately. But you can... Uh, you know, just set it on the ground like like it was. This is just a cheap little um, solar panel from AliExpress. Set it down like that, like I've got it back there. Or you can actually clip this over. And then put it up somewhere now that got me thinking or messing around with um, those whiz blocks and uh, powering them uh, with the Sun and it dawned on me that you could probably just use one of these solar chargers uh, like you get for charging up a phone and just connect it directly to these nodes to um you know basically have a solar powered node at that point now these uh whiz blocks they are a lot better on power consumption so you, if you do this you do need a slightly bigger uh solar panel than you can get away with for the whiz blocks but it does work i've tried it out all right so I looked at it and the furthest distance was uh, the furthest point that I picked it up from here was uh, 1.41 miles. So that's not bad. And this first image I'm going to show you is what we took. This is the one that we took with our production model basically. This is like your factory settings uh, before you get in there and start messing around with any of the position settings. So that's what that looks like. It's, you know, there's 
not really any kind of resolution in there. Uh, and after playing around with the settings here is what uh, this one gave us. with my settings and I'll show you the I'll show those settings to you later but you can see that we've got uh, a lot better resolution and I think I'm gonna play with it a little bit more to get even more resolution out of it uh, more resolution means more battery uh, these have 3000 milliamp hour um, batteries in them and if I remember correctly they pull 250 milliamps, so uh, that would give them 12 hours, but the more uh, you turn up your resolution, the more um, measurements you take with those. I imagine your battery uh, lifetime will go down somewhat, but the settings on that are not a whole lot different from the original, so that they should be uh, pretty good on battery also I just found that uh, you can track your it tracks your elevation with it as well if you hit that uh, little mountain button in the bottom right hand corner so all of that is only on like iOS, Apple, unfortunately they don't have it for Android or the uh, PC, but um, it's really cool if you got like an iPhone or something like that, you can uh, do all that. Now all of this was recorded not using the long fast channel. The long fast channel is the public channel. If you guys don't know what Meshtastic is, I'm surprised you've hung around this long in the video uh, but if you want to watch some videos that really e explain it very well uh, I would recommend that you uh, look up the comms channel just type in YouTube uh, the comms channel and Meshtastic that, that should bring you right to him and he's got a couple of playlists that or for getting started with Meshtastic. If you uh, watch those playlists, I mean, that that's 90% of everything you need to know. It's, it's really simple. Getting back to uh, the, you know, not putting this over the public channel, he's got a video in there that uh, goes over masking your GPS uh, signal because normally your uh, telemetry data and all that goes over the, um, the main channel but you can mess around in there and you know make something private your main channel I will say this about that if you plan on doing that and you're going through changing the settings like one by one uh, since he's made that video they've renamed some of the um, the headers but if you go from position to position to position like it was where they talk where he talked about um, after you switch over you're gonna have to switch your channel over um, that's the slot that's not the same as it used to be on his video but it's still in the same place as far as the GPS settings that I've played around with uh, this is what those look like right now And I also added a buzzer to this. So whenever you get a message, it'll vibrate. Not a buzzer, but like a little vibratory motor. So that's cool. Um, I'm still waiting on some cords for these. What I'm gonna do is make a little charging dock for them that will also do data. I was just about to wrap things up I was inside editing this video and I realized that I forgot to show you guys one picture that I wanted to uh, 
show you something about. It was um, the uh, better resolution track of, of uh, this morning. By the way, that was about uh, four miles um, all around, maybe a little bit more. But there were a couple of parts in there that got clipped out because I guess it just went out of range. But I connected the dots in yellow where it uh, didn't quite make it. So I wanted to show you all that, and then I guess I'll see you all later.